this one here. So this one here would be irrational because the decimal goes on and on forever and ever and ever. Very good. Nice job. What about one and two thirds? Is that one rational or irrational? Hmm. Very good. Very nice job, Bridget and Tiana on that one. Bridget, why do you think that this one would be rational? Because it's a fraction. Very good. So if you're given a number and it's a fraction, automatically you're going to say that's a rational number because it's written as a fraction. Very good job there. Yeah, nice job. Good catch there, Tiana. Very good. Even if it's a negative, that's a good point. I, I was going to say that, Avery. Very nice job. You reminded me to say that. Even if it's a negative, it's still going to be rational because it can be written as a fraction. Whether it's negative or positive, doesn't really matter. Okay, now let's look at this last one here. We have a decimal, but we notice that what does that decimal do? It does it keep going forever and ever or does it stop? Very good, Bridget. It stops. Yes, Tiana. Yes, Bridget. It stops right here. It stops. So if it stops, then it's going to be rational or irrational. What do we think? Nice job, Bridget, on that. Very good job. Very good job, Sawyer, Tiana. Very good job. It's going to be a rational number because you have a decimal and it stops. So if your decimal stops, it doesn't go on and on forever and ever. It's going to be called rational. Very nice job, Sawyer, Tiana, and Bridget on that. Very good. Awesome job. Okay, so we have a rational number, an irrational, and then two rationals. Very nice job. Those rational rules are going to be super important. You might have one or two questions that look like that on that SBAC little assessment. Very nice job. Awesome, awesome. Last piece of our warm up for today. Let's take a look at slide number four. Okay, so this is where you're going to need to use a calculator. I'm going to grab a link and I'm going to put it in the um, classroom stream. I mean, no, not in the stream, in the chat here in case you need a calculator. I'll, be, I'll put that link in there. I want you to take two minutes right now to evaluate or tell me what are each one of these equal to. This one is like saying multiplying nine how many times? Nine times how many times? Not going to be, we're not multiplying. We did this yesterday in class, guys. Remember, we said we have the base and we have the exponent. The base is the number that you're multiplying. The exponent tells you how many times. Yes, very good catch there, Tiana. So it's going to be saying nine times. How many times are we writing it? Two. Nine times nine, which is going to get me 81. Very good catch there. Very good job, Bridget and Kaylee B and uh, Tiana. Yes, ladies, and Avery, very nice. So I want you to use that knowledge of the number, the basis, the number you're multiplying and the exponent is how many times to do each one of these guys here. Calculate what's it gonna be equal to. I want you to take a minute and a half right now to do that for me. Ladies and gentlemen, we have one more minute. You're doing great. Ooh, nice job, Gina Ramos. He is on fire this morning. This
Okay, we're taking another 21. You guys are doing great. Okay, here we go. Let's firm up those thoughts. Let's get this second one right here. What is this one across from that one we just did? Two to the eighth. That's like, that's okay, Jaden. Very good. So Courtney and, oh, very good. Okay, very nice. So it's gonna get me, very good, Bridget and Jaden Ramos, 256. And Jaden, if you need to take that garbage out, you can, sweetheart. That's like saying two, we're multiplying two, eight times. Okay, that's four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you would multiply that and you would get 256. Very nice job there, guys. Very nice. Now we're going to look at four to the fourth. What is four to the fourth equal to? Oh, I thought you said you had to take out garbage. Oh, that was Sawyer. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so that's like saying four times four times four times four. Grab your calculator, four times four times four times four gets me 256 again. Ooh, look like, look at that, silly Billy. So we, we write it out if you need to, four times four times four times four. When you multiply them, maybe check them off if you're gonna do them individually, times four times four is gonna get me 256. Very nice. Now let's look at this six to the third. That's like saying what times what, what, how many times? Very good, Bridget. It's, it's gonna get you 216. That's like saying six, three times because our exponent number is three. And we get six times six times six gets me very good, Jaden Ramos, 216 on that, very good. Now this next one is a huge number. It's like multiplying what number, how many times? Very good, Jaden Ramos. Very good, Bridget. It's like multiplying seven, seven times. Seven times seven times seven times seven times seven times seven times seven. And it gets me 8,000 or 82,000, sorry, 543. It's a big one. Nice job there, Gabby Campany as well. Awesome job, Lady Jane. And then last one, we're looking at five to the fourth. That's like multiplying five, four times. Five times five times five times five. When we use our... Oh, you're right, I did miss a three. I did miss a three, I'm sorry. You're right, Miss Jermaine had dyslexia for a moment. Good catch there, Jaden. Very good. Five times five is 25 times five is 125 times five more is 625. Very nice job. Nice job, Avery, Bridget, and Jaden Ramos. Very nice. And Jaden as well. So let's get those written down for ourselves. And then we're going to move into our new learning for today. So four to the seven to the seventh is this guy right here, Avery. 80, 823,543. Okay, I'm going to leave that up for another 10. You can fake Gabby. Okay, and very nice. Later. 
Very nice. Let's move on to the next piece of this, okay? So now we're gonna look at our learning targets on the next slide. Our learning targets for today, we have two of them. We're gonna learn two rules today. We're gonna, we're gonna come up with a rule for multiplying powers of 10. So when we have exponents and we're multiplying them by exponents, when we're multiplying two exponents, there is a rule and we're gonna talk about and learn about that rule today. Then we're gonna talk about when we raise a power to a power. So that's like saying two to the third and then raising that to the fourth power. So that's gonna have a different rule than multiplying, which would look like two to the third times two to the fourth is gonna get us a different exponent there. So we're gonna talk about multiplying exponents and then we're gonna talk about raising an exponent to a power, okay? So let's take a look at slide number six to start. This one is one of those examples where we're gonna be talking about multiplying um, exponents here. And when we look at these two exponents that we're multiplying, what do we notice about them? What do we notice? We notice that they both have what? They both have a base of 10. If you look at all of these examples, they all have the same bases here. So that's gonna be part of our rule. Very good, Tiana, they both have a 10, very good. So let's take a look at what these mean. So when we look at each one of these exponents, we can expand them out. So if we look at this first one here, it says 10 to the second times 10 to the fourth. That means we're multiplying 10 two times, 10 times 10, and then we're multiplying that by 10 to the fourth, which that means 10 four times. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And then we need to con like condense it into one exponent. So then to write this new exponent, we have our base of 10, that number that we're multiplying. And then to get our exponent number, we count how many times we wrote that 10. We wrote that 10, one, two, three, four, five, six times. Does everyone see how we did this for how this first one was done here? Okay, so what I want you guys to do for the next one, I just want you looking at this five to the third times five to the fifth. Okay. And I want you in this box right here to break it into expand, expanded form here, like I did here. So it's gonna be group one times group two. And I want you to expand it out doing that multiplication. And then I want you to write it as a single power. I want you to take a minute and a half right now to do just this first one here, okay? I want everyone to do that for me. And remember when we write exponents, we write like if we want two to the fourth, we type our base, then we hit control and the period, and then we type our exponent, type four, and then to bring it back down, we hit control period again. Okay, 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at this guy. Okay, so if we were to extend this out, very good. Nice job, Bridget. That's like saying, if I look at my first piece here, five to the third, that means I'm multiplying five, four, five, three times. So I write out my five, three times. I multiply them, okay? And then I multiply that by five, how many times? Very good, Bridget. Five, five times. So I would come and I, in my second parentheses, I'd say five times five times five times five times five. And then to find that single exponent, I use my base of five. And then my exponent number is the number of times we wrote it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five to the eighth power. Can I get a thumbs up if you got, or can I get a yes if you got that one right, or maybe a no if you maybe didn't get it right? That's okay. Nice job, Gabby. Nice job, Jaden. Very good, Sawyer. Very good, Courtney. Very good, Tiana. Very good, Avery. Awesome job, everybody. I'm so proud of you guys. Okay, very nice. So we were able to go through and we were able to do this one here. Now what I want you to do, I'm gonna give you three working minutes to do the following, listen closely. I want you to extend, expand out these three and uh, write them as single power exponents. And then I want you to think about a rule, a general, general rule that we can write to when we multiply exponents. So what is the rule that we follow? Take three minutes right now to do the finish out this slide, okay? Remember, I put the directions for typing exponents right here. Guys, is, any, is anybody seen Harry today? No? Oh, Billy, I'm going to send you a message, dude. You're doing great. You still have two minutes and 20. Hey, Billy, I just sent you a message, sweetheart. Ooh, okay, Alyssa might have figured out the rule. Billy, please make sure that you look at that message that I just sent and please respond. Nice. We still have another 49 seconds. Very nice job, Bridget. Ooh. That's a good point there, Bridget. That's very good. It's another really good thing to notice. We're taking another 10, guys. You're doing great.
Okay, take another um, five to firm up those thoughts, please. Okay, so let's take a look at, and let's go up, uh, question? No, okay. Um, let me, I'm gonna just make my pen a little bit smaller so that it writes a little bit better. So now we're looking at four times, four to the fourth times four to the second. That's like saying a group of four times four times four times four. And we're multiplying it by four, how many times in the second group? Very good job, Bridget. Four, two times. Very good. So four to the four to the fourth times four to the second is gonna get me an exponent of four to the, what's my new exponent number gonna be? What do we think? Four to the, I count how many times I write the four. One, two, three, four, five, six is my exponent number. Four to the sixth power. Do you guys see that? I didn't have many people put answers in the chat on that one, so I wanna make sure that you're understanding what I'm doing here, okay? So then now this time we're doing a group of 10 fives. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and we multiply them. And then we multiply that by 10 four times. 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay. So then if I if bring it into a single um, exponent here, what am I gonna get for an answer? I understand that Bridget gets how to do this. I need other people to tell me what did you guys get for an answer? 10 to the what power here, people? Ninth. Very good, Gabby Campany. Very good, Sawyer. Very good, Jaden. Very good, Annie. 10 to the ninth power, because you count up those tens and there's nine of them. Very good. Last one here. We're gonna expand it out. We're gonna expand it out to seven, seven times. Seven, 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 seven times, seven, four times. Okay. And I'm gonna get seven to the, very good, Bridget. Seven to the 11th power. So now this is what I need someone to do. I need someone to unmute. And I need someone to tell me, what is the rule when we multiply exponents? What, what do we get when we, when we rewrite them as a single power? What do we have to do to rewrite them as a single power? You have to multiply them by whatever their exponent said. Like to, so let's just say it was like 10 to the power of five. You have to multiply 10 by itself five times. Very good. So you have to ex expand it out. You say 10 to the however many times is in that exponent. Good. Yes, go ahead, Bridget. When you're multiplying the two different exponents, the bases have to stay the same number. Very good. The bases stay this, or they have to be, have to be, be the same number and it stays the same. The base stays the same. So we don't actually multiply those bases here. The base number stays the same. And then what do we do to those exponent numbers? Do we actually multiply them? If you look at it, two times four, does that get me a, a power of six? Very good, Bridget. So no, we, we're not gonna actually multiply those exponent numbers. We do what to them? Very good, Olivia. So what would get me, what would I have to do to two and four to get me to six? What would I have to do to three and five to get me to eight? What would I have to do to four and two to get me to six? Very good, Bridget. Very good, Courtney. Very, we're not gonna change them per se. We're gonna do something to them. We have a two and a four. 
We, if we add them together, we get that new exponent number. Three plus five gets me eight. Four plus two gets me six. Five plus four gets me nine. Seven plus four gets me 11. So we keep the base the same, and then we add the exponent numbers. Does that make sense, you guys? So if you look at it and you're multiplying, when you multiply two exponents that have the same base, you're going to keep the base the same and then add the exponent numbers. Awesome job, Olivia. Very good job there, Courtney, Bridget, and Olivia as well. Awesome, awesome. I'm gonna keep this rule up for a couple moments. And then we're going to move on to some practice with this on the next couple slides. Okay. Everybody's doing fantastic. Keep up the great work, guys. Okay, I'm going to start to erase. I'm going to post the recording so that we can, um, if you need to get it back afterwards, we can do that as well. So I did get someone that emailed me to remind me to post it. So I will post it. Um, now, the next slide has the rule on it. When we multiply exponents with the same base, we add those exponent numbers. The number, the exponent number in the first one plus the exponent number in the second one, we add them together. Let's do some practice on the next slide. So now on this next slide here, we're going to write each one of these as a single power exponent. So how would you rewrite this into a single exponent? I want you to take a minute right now to rewrite all six of these as one exponent. Very good job there, Olivia. Very nice. So let's... Um, start to work on this for one minute and then we're going to come back and go through them. Awesome, we're taking another 10, guys. You're doing great. Okay, take 10 more to firm up those thoughts, please. 10 more seconds to firm up those thoughts. Okay, very nice, Bridget. Thank you for putting that answer in the chat. So if we remember, our goal is we keep the base the same. And then we do what to our exponent numbers? We add them, very good. So if we follow that rule, we're gonna keep our 10 as our base, add our exponent numbers, four plus six gets me 10. Very nice. Now let's take a look at the second one here. 50 to the 34th times 50 to the 12th. What are we gonna get for an exponent there? I'm gonna give you a couple seconds to put it in the chat. Oh, okay, so you went down. We're gonna go across first and then we'll go back to that one next, okay? So looking at this 50 to the 34th, times 50 to the 12th. Very good, Bridget. What's gonna be our base here, people? Let's put it in the chat, guys, come on. Very good, our base is gonna be 50. Very good, Alyssa Button and Bridget. And then we add those two exponent numbers together. 
34 plus 12 gets me. Very good, Bridget. It's going to get me 46. So it's going to be 50 to the, to the 46th power. I'm not asking you to actually nice job, Alyssa Button. I'm not actually asking you to tell me what's it equal to because that's going to be a massive number. I just wanted you to write it as a single exponent. Now let's look at the next one here. Our base is going to stay seven and then we add those two exponents. So what's our new exponent number going to be here? Very good. It's going to be four plus eight, which gets me 12. Very nice. Next one here, four to the eighth times four to the second. All right, it's going to be four. And then we add those two exponent numbers, eight, nine, 10. Very good, Courtney, to the 10th power. Very nice. Now, this one's tricky. We're going to keep that base of nine and we're going to put it to the what power? Very good, Bridget. Very good, Alyssa Button. We add them. Very good, Jaden Ramos. 23 plus 43 is equal to 66. Nine to the 66th power. Very good, Jaden Ramos, on that one. Last one here, we're going to keep that base of five. We're gonna add our exponents. So we're gonna get five to the, very good, Bridget. Check that, adding 13, bump 13, 13, add four more, 14, 15, 16, 17 to the 17th power. Very nice. Let's get these written in here. Um, I'm going to move into the next piece of this in a moment. So let's get ready. Okay, I'm gonna give another 10. Okay. Now, we are going to skip over slide number nine because we just talked about that on the last slide. So we're gonna jump right into slide number 10. Jump right on down to slide number 10. You don't need to do anything on nine. You can leave it blank. Okay, so now we're gonna look similar. We're gonna look at this next example and it's similar to what we did on the last one, except this time we're raising a power to a power. So if we look at this first one here, 10 to the third, so we're taking that exponent of 10 to the third and we're raising it to the second power, which means we're doing two groups. We're listing it two times. So it's 10 times 10 times 10, that's one. And then that's the, the second group of 10 times 10 times 10. So that one's gonna be two. So you take that exponent, you, you expand it out, the, the second exponent number of times. So if we look at this next one here, we're gonna take um, five, we're gonna make a group of five. How many times are we gonna multiply it? What does that first exponent tell us? How many times are we gonna multiply the five? Very good, Olivia, very good, Jaden. So we're gonna say five times five times five, times five. And then the second exponent tells us how many times we're gonna, we're gonna write that. So how many times are we gonna multiply this little chunk here? How many times are we gonna multiply it? Very good, um, Alyssa, Bridget, Gabby, Jaden, and Olivia. We're gonna multiply that out twice. So then we're gonna multiply it again. If you wanna copy and paste it instead of typing it twice, you can. Five times five times five times five. So five, four times, you're going to make two groups of that. Two groups of five, four times. So then if we write it as a single power here, our base is going to be five. And then if we count how many times we wrote out that five, we count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Our exponent is gonna be five to the, very good, Jaden, very good, Olivia, or Bridget. Five to the. Very good, Olivia. Five to the eighth. So you're taking that inside exponent, you're expanding it out, the outside number of exponent number of times. Yes, very good, Alyssa Button. She said it perfectly. She said, so basically we do the first set in the parentheses. So we do that first exponent and then we do it however many times is in the second exponent. Very good, very nice. Uh, that was a good way of putting it, uh, um, Alyssa Button. So we take this exponent here, expand it out the outside exponent number of times. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna give you um, three minutes right now to expand out these three and write them as single powers. Then I want you to think about a rule. Just like we came up with for the first one, I want you to look for any patterns of how we get from the, the first one to the second one, I mean, to the single, to the single power there. I want you to take three minutes right now to work on this expanding and then writing as single powers and rules. I'm gonna get rid of this because this is not the rule for this one. And remember you can copy and paste if you don't wanna keep typing things out multiple times, like groups of. Very nice job, guys. Oh, we have someone join. Oh, Olivia. Okay. We still have two more working minutes. You guys are doing great. If you have questions, let me know in the chat, okay? Right here. You can text your letter, though, no, that's fine. I'll post the recording afterwards, Isabella. Thank you for letting me know, sweetheart. You're the best. And she's marked us here, so. Hey, we still have another minute and 20. You're doing great, guys. more working seconds guys you're doing great awesome job Alyssa button Ooh, yeah maybe Alyssa button maybe Alyssa button maybe that's the rule okay we're taking another seven seconds to wrap up those thoughts guys you're doing fantastic Okay, awesome job. Nice, nice, nice. Let's firm up those thoughts. Here we go. Okay, I'm turning my screen around. And let's take a look at how we would expand these out. You guys are doing great. So we're gonna say four to the third. So that's four, three times. And we're gonna make how many groups of that? Does that exponent tell us how many groups? 
The second exponent tells us we have to do that. Very good, Jaden Ramos. Very good, Bridget. We're doing that four times. So we're saying four times four times four. And then three more of those groups, four times four times four. That's two. Four times four times four. That's three. And then four times four times four. Four groups of four times four times four. So then now if I rewrite it as a single exponent, I write that base of four. And then my exponent number is how many times I wrote that four. How many times did I write it? Four to the? Nice job, Bridget. Very good, Alyssa Button. It's gonna be 12. If you take your pen and you count it out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Very nice. Awesome job there, guys. So it's four to the 12th. Now we're doing 10 to the first, which is just 10 one time. Oops, wrong button. Um, we're gonna say 10 one time. And how many groups of those are we making? Ooh, nice job, Bridget. We're making, the second exponent tells us how many groups we're gonna make. Four groups, very good. So it's gonna be 10 to the, Ten to the very good to the fourth power. Very nice. So we one, two, three, four. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, very nice. Last one. We're gonna say ten to the fifth or seven to the fifth. So we're gonna do seven five times. And how many groups of that are we gonna make? Very good, Bridget. How many groups of seven to the fifth are we gonna make? Very nice, Bridget. We're gonna make two groups of that. So we're gonna say seven times 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 seven. We're doing 10, seven to the fifth, two times. So then what is our exponent gonna be, our final value, our final exponent? Seven to the? What are we gonna get? Come on, I know Bridget's got this, but let's get some answers from other people. What are we gonna get here? Very good, Olivia. We're gonna get seven to the 10. Count out your sevens, you have 10 of them. Very good. Now, if we think about a rule, so I had two people send me their rule. Rule said the power inside the parentheses is how many times you're going to multiply the number in one group. And the number outside is how many groups you're gonna make. Very good. And we can simplify that by saying we keep our base. Base stays the same. Okay, so our base stays the same, and then we take those exponent numbers. Get multiplied. So we keep the base the same, and then we take those two exponent numbers and we multiply them. Three times two gets me six. Four times two gets me eight. Three times four gets me 12. One times four equals four. And five times two gets me 10. So our rule when we're doing a power to a power is that we keep the base the same and then we add or multiply those exponent numbers. Okay, so it's different from when we multiply two exponents, because when we multiply two exponents, we add those numbers together. But when we do a power to a power, an exponent to an exponent, 
we multiply those two numbers. Okay, so we have two things that we're going to do for homework this afternoon. Let me show you what you were what we're going to do here. Okay, so on slide number eleven, we have our rule. We have we add the we multiply the two exponent numbers together. Okay. That's our rule on slide number 11. Your homework for this afternoon is you have six problems on slide number 12 that you need to write these four problems or six problems as a single exponent. So this first one would be 10 to the what power if we follow that rule that, rule that we just talked about. Nice job, Bridget. I wanna see some other people. Let me know what's that power gonna be? 10 to the Think about that rule we just talked about. It's going to be 10 to the, where are we going to get people? Never mind. I'm going to open that door. 10 to the, Oh my gosh, Bridget is the only one that gave me the answer. What's it gonna be? This one is gonna be 10 to the... Remember, when we do a power to a power, what do we do to the two exponent numbers? We don't add them. When we multiply, if we did like 10 to the 10, if we did 10 to the 10 times 10 to the fourth, then it would be 10 to the 14th because we're multiplying them. This one is a power to a power. What do we do when we do a power to a power? What do we do to the two numbers? We We multiply them. Very good, Bridget. Very good, Tiana. So it's going to be 10 to the what? Forty, very good, Tiana. Very good, Sawyer. Very good. It's going to be ten to the fortieth. Fort, I was the wrong number. Ten to the fortieth. Very good. Okay. So you're going to complete the rest on this slide, and then there are three questions on slide number thirteen. We are going to open tomorrow by going through these six problems. You're going to try your best but I want you to actually do them. You can do that first slide, slide number 12, should not be too bad for you. You can turn it in if you'd like, because we're gonna go through them tomorrow in class. Billy, um, check that chat, I sent you a message. It's a very important message. Hi, not a problem. I will, um, Avery, I'm gonna post the video and I'll send you, I'll, I'll post the link today after school, okay? Did we turn okay. on the one from yesterday? Because we never went back to it. The quiz was from class on Tuesday, Billy. So it was uh, your Tuesday assignment. You did nothing in class on Tuesday. You did nothing in class yesterday. So it needs to get done. Okay. Awesome job, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to stop my recording.